I'm mixing up some plaster. I'm going to fix the holes in my walls. <laughs> I also want to do all of the painting. I'm so over it. I just want to have all of the painting done. I know you guys were expecting a Toilet of Curiosities video. I totally forgot that this week my cat Bella needed to go to the vet to make sure that she's never going to have kittens again. Poor Belle. <laughs> this was yesterday, she was so sad. She was falling over all of the time, every time she was trying to walk. It was the saddest thing. But now, today she's doing a lot better. She's sleeping a lot, which is good. Good for her. For the last two days, I have also done some painting. <laughs> oh, I actually painted a oil painting portrait. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was quite an experience. <laughs> the first day that I was painting, I did not film anything, but the day after that I was thinking, you know what, I should turn on my camera to share a little bit of my whole artistic experience with you guys. <laughs> so I will be here filling walls and painting walls and in the meanwhile you guys can go watch me being ridiculously creative. Ooh, ooh, somebody did a paint job, a very bad paint job, but it's beautiful and quite old. Should have left it alone. Noses. Eyes. It's also difficult. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not a painter. Well, I am a painter. A painter of walls and ceilings. Not a painter of portraits. <laughs> oh, okay, I think I fixed I fixed the worst part. I fixed <laughs> I fixed it a little bit. At least she doesn't look like a dead person anymore. 
Her skin was so bluish, gray, that she really didn't look alive. Right now, she has a little bit of color on her. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to do something very scary. I'm going to try to fix some very small little things about this eye over here. I'm scared. Never knew that painting a portrait was so scary. I wonder why, because if you do not like it, you can always start over. Especially with an oil paint, you can paint over it for years and years and years if you want to. The whole reason why I decided to work on it some more was because of the color of her skin. And it's definitely looking better. I like this eye, I just, I don't know, I don't really like this one. This side of a face is always the hardest for me, always. I'm saying this like I'm <laughs> painting all of the time. I think the last time I ever painted anything was in high school. And it was definitely not a portrait. This painting is making me sing Christmas songs. That's that's scary. <laughs> How does this look? Okay. Starting starting to get a little bit more definition. I am going to touch the eye again. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> painting now before you ruin something <laughs> before you have to fix it again <laughs> I can't stop yeah it is definitely not a masterpiece but for my first ever 
No, not my first. My second ever oil painting, I think. It's not bad. Well, she looks definitely less dead. More alive. something else I just want to <sighs> sleep <laughs> I want to sleep in here in a nice finished lovely bedroom to paint this the door trim I actually bought something I was thinking about this space and I was thinking about me wanting to create a very cozy bedroom in here and then I thought you know there is one thing that I definitely definitely need and it is a rug on this floor the rug that I ordered is very big it is huge i am going to have about this much space all around the edges and the rest of the floor is going to be covered i'm going to put a picture up over here of the rug that i bought i really hope that i'm going to like it hey how are you doing Ooh, yeah what an adventure you had Two days ago, eh? Ow! <laughs> what are you doing, bumping your little head? Oh! And now I need to go see if I can find myself some more paint. Found it! It's the next day. Good morning. 
Yesterday evening, I caulked all of the edges of the windowsill and also the gap in between the boards, the two boards of my bed, because everything cracked. This is a very old house. It is over a hundred years old, and when the seasons change and when the temperatures change, well, everything cracks because. The whole house moves. <laughs> anyway, let's continue this makeover. I am running out of time because yesterday I got a little bit distracted. I actually made a whole entire video about something completely unrelated to this space. <laughs> My son and his girlfriend, they brought over a baby album full of pictures of the ultrasound that she had. And I was so curious to see if I could find out if this baby was a boy or a girl that I decided to use this. I really thought that this in English was called a pendant. And then this morning I found out that it is actually called a pendulum. <laughs> so for this entire video I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> the big yes is a circle. And a no is a straight line. I'm a little bit shaky. I am really trying to keep my hand very still. I actually also asked some questions about the oil painting that I made. Did I make an oil painting a few days ago? Did I make an oil painting portrait a few days ago? It is saying yes. <laughs> and then I asked, do I like this oil painting portrait? Do I love the oil painting portrait that I made? Can you give me a clear answer? Do I love it? It is saying that I do not like the oil painting that I made and it is right, I don't. <laughs> but I still have one or two things to say about it because the process was very interesting. Right now though, I need to get going because I lost a lot of time yesterday with creating this video about the baby. I'm way behind right now. This video needs to be online tonight. It is probably going to be a late one. Chop chop! Let's get going! I'm going to paint this door frame first because this is the biggest job. This over here, this over here looks a little bit strange right now. I actually had some water stains from an issue that I had in my shower. So I used some synthetic primer. Over here, I really hope this is going to take care of the stains. They were poking through my ceiling paint. I will go over it again with ceiling paint. Right now I'm just using paint for wood. Just as an extra, extra layer. When I moved into this house, I had no idea that these windows were here. Everything was boarded up. My panel doors, these windows. Can you imagine the excitement that I felt when I found out that I had all of this? These windows were in a horrible shape. There was only one window that had glass in it. The one in my kitchen. All of the other ones were Glasses. <laughs> is that a word? Glassless? Well, I just decided that it is right now. It took me a lot of time, weeks and weeks, to get all of these windows back into shape. But I absolutely love them. When I moved in, my hallway was so dark. And when I opened up all of these windows, wow. Over here, 
where I caulked everything. I am going to overlap the paint. I am going to paint a little bit of this water-based paint for wood on the edges of the wall. And after that, when it is dry, I will go over it with the wall paint. touch up the edges between where the wood is touching the walls around the door frame and on my windowsill but everything has to dry right now besides that this tiny little job that I still need to do everything is painted this painting <laughs> let's talk about this painting and also about these frames I am probably not going to hang this painting on my wall <laughs> But I decided to talk about it anyway, because when I was painting this, especially the first day, because I was not filming anything, for the entire time that I was painting, I did not think one single thought. My brain was completely empty. If you know me a little bit, you know that this is extraordinary. <laughs> So even though this painting is probably not something that I am going to hang on my wall, I really appreciated the whole painting process. It did me a world of good. And that's also the reason why I decided to share all of this, <laughs> me painting and me showing you this painting anyway. I came to the conclusion that for me, creating art is not about making the perfect masterpiece, although it would be nice. <laughs> It is mainly about the process, it is about having fun, it is about relaxing and it is definitely about clearing my mind. So yeah, I actually really enjoyed it and I am definitely going to paint some more in the future. Over the last few months I have added so many art pieces to my home and I learned something. I learned that having the right combination of a piece of art and the frame around it is very important. Sometimes changing out a frame makes a very, very big difference. So I think even though I'm not going to hang this, it would be nice to go take a look at the different frames that I have over here, just to show you how big of a difference a frame actually makes. Using this frame that I found in the trash, <laughs> that I painted, I did this whole paint job on it, was my original plan. I decided to use this frame before I even painted this painting, <laughs> which is not a very smart thing to do. I do really like the combination of the dark colors the dark color of the frame and the dark color of the background of the painting. What I don't like about it is that it is way too big. Not for the piece of wood that I used, but for the actual thing that I painted. And also, if you want to create a vintage looking space using a very classical looking frame like this, maybe is not the best option. The size of this frame is a way better fit for this lovely lady. <laughs> but even though on the inside it is a way better fit, this frame, in my opinion, is way too chunky. And again, it is extremely classical and ornate for a vintage bedroom and also for an attempt to make a vintage portrait. This is definitely not the right fit. So let's try the last one. This is just a very simple, plain frame. The size of the inside is perfect. And I don't know if you can see the difference all of a sudden, just because of this frame, this entire painting actually has a vintage look. So the conclusion is that if I would hang this painting in a vintage space, 
this is definitely the frame that I would use. So I clearly did not think this through before I started painting, which is fine because you can change things. But it is very interesting to see how much of a difference a different frame actually makes around a piece of art. I am so happy with all the progress that I made and I'm looking forward to all the projects to come. The nice fun projects like hanging up wallpaper, upholstering a chair, rolling out my new rug. I really hope that I'm going to love it. When it comes to the video for next week, I'm not going to say anything anymore about it because I'm changing my mind about uploading videos all of the time anyway. Thank you so much for watching this one and I really hope to see you next week.